welcomes to chemistry exam youtube channel in this video we are going to discuss about allotropic forms of sulfur sulfur exists crystalline as well as amorphous allotropic forms sulfur exists in crystalline as well as amorphous allotropic forms the crystalline form includes rhombic sulfur which means alpha sulfur and monoclinic sulfur which means it is called beta sulfur alpha sulfur is called rhomb rhombic sulfur beta sulfur is called monoclinic sulfur these two are the crystalline form of allotropic sulfur and and another one amorphous allotropic forms includes plastic sulfur which means gamma sulfur milk of sulfur and colloidal sulfur gamma sulfur that is called plastic sulfur milk of sulfur and colloidal sulfur and first one we are going to discuss about crystalline form of crystalline allotropic forms of sulfur two types are the rhombic sulfur and monoclinic sulfur first one we are going to discuss about rhombic sulfur rhombic sulfur is known as alpha sulfur it is the only thermodynamically stable allotropic form at ordinary temperature and pressure the crystals have a characteristic yellow color and composed of s8 molecules when heated slowly above 96 degree celsius it converts into monoclinic sulfur so now we got some point the rhombic sulfur is heated slowly above 96 degree the rhombic sulfur is converted into monoclinic sulfur upon cooling below 96 degree celsius the beta form converts back to alpha form so these are the main points in the exam point of view they will ask what is the temperature rhombic sulfur is converted into monoclinic sulfur or monoclinic sulfur is converted to rhombic sulfur which means rhombic sulfur is converted into monoclinic sulfur the temperature is above 96 degree celsius the below 96 degree celsius the beta form is converted into alpha form which means monoclinic sulfur is converted into rhombic sulfur next one we are going to discuss about monoclinic sulfur the monoclinic sulfur also contains s8 molecules in addition to a small amount of s6 molecules monoclinic sulfur also contains s8 molecules in addition to small amount of s6 molecules it exists as a long needle like prism and it is called as prismatic sulfur so other name is monoclinic sulfur other name is called prismatic sulfur so if they are asking in the exam point of view what is prismatic sulfur option a monoclinic sulfur option b rhombic sulfur and option c another one option d another one the answer is monoclinic sulfur so the monoclinic sulfur is stable between 96 degree celsius to 190 degree celsius and slowly changes into rhombic sulfur we already know if the temperature is slowly decreased the rhombic sulfur is formed monoclinic sulfur is converted into rhombic sulfur next so when molten sulfur is poured into cold water a yellow rubbery ribbon of plastic sulfur is produced so we have to remember this point what is that when molten sulfur is poured into cold water yellow rubbery ribbon of plastic sulfur is produced they are very soft and can be stretched easily on standing which means cooling slowly it slows becomes hard and changes to stable rhombic sulfur next 
Sulfur also exists in liquid and gaseous states. At around 140 degrees Celsius, the monoclinic sulfur melts to form mobile pale yellow liquid called lambda sulfur. At around 140 degrees Celsius, the monoclinic sulfur melts to form mobile pale yellow liquid called lambda sulfur. The vapor over the liquid sulfur consists of 90% of S8, S7 and S6 and small amount of mixers of S2, S3, S4, S5 molecules. Again repeating this point, sulfur also exists in liquid and gaseous states at around 140 degrees Celsius the monoclinic sulfur melts to form mobile pale yellow liquid called lambda sulfur. The vapor over the liquid sulfur consists 90 percentage of S8, S7 and S6 and small amount of S2, S3, S4, S5 molecules. So in this video we are discussed allotropic forms of sulfur especially so rhombic sulfur and monoclinic sulfur th those two crystalline form of sulfur and another form of amorphous form of allotropic form of sulfur also we have discussed if you like this video like comment and this video to your friends and others please share this video and please subscribe chemistry exam youtube channel and please press bell icon of this youtube channel thanks for watching this video